small hands, smells of cabbage. It's suddenly dark at home time. When did that happen? And me without me hive is. Oh well, I wouldn't be the only one. Yeah, probably good high vis, just fucked away. Yeah, I got away for a week and suddenly it's dark at going home time. <sighs> That's a bit mad. And by a bit mad I mean completely predictable based off of previous experience. And so it's up, it looks like we're into the the dangerous twilight zone where it's dark at uh, going home time. But not everyone has found the lights for their bicycle just yet, so you get lads with no lights or high-vis or anything on their bike, just sort of chancing it until they can get a chance to pick up, you know, find where they left their lights last time or change the batteries in them or wait until fucking Lidl have bike lights in again, which is every two or three weeks at this point. And so, things like that young fella who has no lights on the back of his bike, a little fucking flashy white thing on the front is no use to you when a car is fucking plowing into the back here because they can't see you. And uh, I'm one to talk because I left, <laughs> I left for work this morning without my wee high I tend to put a high vis on myself when it's dark or when I have to, like if I'm in a country where you have to, for those non Irishers. You don't have to wear a high vis in Ireland on the motorbike. Uh, and I don't tend to do it, just personal preference. You know, I know it's a thing. I'm usually in all the gear all the time kind of chap, but um, nah, I tend to not bother. You know, I have a jacket that doesn't have high vis on it, and I'm not going to wear a separate high vis because, you know, because I'm not. You know, I don't need to have a reason. The only difference, of course, being is that I'm on a bike. It's lit up like the fucking Starship Enterprise on the front and back. But even still, every little helps at night time. And especially the uh, the reflective bits on high vises. I have a particular taste in high vises where you want the ones with the reflective strips on them. Because if they don't have the reflective strips, then they're just a, a brightly coloured thing. And for anyone who's ever driven, there's brightly coloured things fucking everywhere moving around. So it doesn't really help all that much, but at night time, seeing a big fucking strips of bright white uh, reflective bits is a uh, good show and getting people to notice you. And so yeah, I was away for a bit and I was uh, also moving house. I mean, like, moving house only took a weekend, but it's sort of aftermath of it and I sort of thought I'd keep up with video schedule, but it turns out not. I mean, it's not that I didn't have time, it's not that I wasn't up on the bike, I just didn't have the fucking brains for it, you know? You're thinking of one thing, and it's a very big thing, and then suddenly it's like fucking three weeks later. So yeah, anyway, how's it going? <laughs> it's, uh, it's dark now in the evening, how about that shit? It's not bright until fucking 11pm anymore, and it's actually kind of kind of tepid out, kind of like not warm anymore, single digits, single digits the other day, I was disgusted went outside in a t-shirt and I was like, hang on what kind of fucking hotel is this? oh, it's the Carnies good man Tom yeah, it's right about this time in your average sort of catch up I'm not dead video that I sort of make a lot of promises about what I'm going to do I'm going to do all the videos and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that but I'm not going to make that promise to you I'm here and I'm alive <laughs> and that'll have to do is for the moment I'll get back into the swing of things but I'm just kind of taking it handy U usually I'm actually around this time of year I go to a less frequent update schedule anyway since even though I am a sort of a year round motor bicyclist um, I tend to ride less in the winter because when I have the option of a couple of different ways of getting places I'm not going to go out on a bike in the pistons of rain, I'm just not. Um, there's being resilient to 
weather and shit and there's been a tick so I'm the first and only occasionally the second but no it's October and October is one of my actual favorite times of the year you know, the weather's turning a bit but it hasn't gotten shite and the leaves start falling and uh, everyone changes into their woolly jumpers and an overland woolly jumper you know but uh, I wouldn't be a fan of uh, had a couple of near misses I, didn't really, I wouldn't really call them near misses I had a couple of encounters with basically invisible cyclists on the way home today uh, so I think uh, yeah there usually is a couple of weeks before they all realize hang on you know I should get my lights actually fixed you know these street lights can kind of give you a false sense of security if you're on a cycling bike you know oh there's light so I can go out on my bike and I don't need lights on my bike you fucking do because I can't see you and so uh, usually I think the guards get the finger out around this time of year and start handing out lights and high visits and shit so hopefully that will happen because judging by the uh, fucking invisible lemmings I've been encountering uh, it's sorely needed and so if you're up on your motorbike you know have a look out for cyclists you know some people can't afford or haven't had a chance to go out and get lights because life does that to you and some people are just tick but uh, either way try not to run anyone over that would be the worst of crack we're all involved oh <sighs> yeah so I mean I've limited weekend days just to do the travel and shit and so I haven't really been out on any longer rides than the commute and the odd tip around North Dublin but uh, Try and get back to that, but no promises. And the next sort of big video or series of videos, I would imagine, is in uh, a few weeks when uh, we're heading off to the bike show in Milan. I mean, there's a number of things I want to see there. Uh, I think they've announced the R1250 GS, which is a new GS, which looks the same as the old GS, but the engine is slightly different. So you need a new one. And you need to come to the show and fucking jizz a pound of butter over this bike that looks exactly the fucking same as last year's. Uh, so, there'll be other things to do, I'm sure. Bit of crack. Not a lot else to really cover. I'll sort of leave you at that. And uh, I will see you next time. Ride safe. Don't knock over any young fellas on BMXs. Uh, keep it between the lines. And I shall talk to you. Good luck.